July 10, 2011. The title of this article is One Girl's Dream is Everyone's Treasure. The article was written by Kevin Showalter. Kevin is the Youth Services Coordinator for the League for the Blind and Disabled. Early in June, Fort Wayne yet again was put on the map. Not for some big celebrity sighting or some crime spree, but rather for disability awareness. On June 10th, Fort Wayne became the first city in Indiana that featured a boundless playground. What is a boundless playground, you ask? What is that about? Well, that is a playground that is equipment especially designed for all children with or without disabilities and of any age. This playground was the dream of one young girl. This young girl's name is Taylor Ruiel. Taylor felt she had something to do after seeing one of her friends sit on the sidelines of the school playground because of her disability. Taylor decided to take it upon herself to raise the funds to put in place and build a place where all children can come together. From that initial idea, Taylor's dream, as the playground is now known, blossomed into a project of over one million dollars. Now that Taylor's dream is up and running, the Fort Wayne Parks and Recreation Department is calling on the citizens of this city to help keep it functioning and operational. Sarah Nichter, who is the Information and Development Manager, for the Fort Wayne Parks and Rec Department. She says they are looking for people to take surveys about the popularity of the new site. This is what Sarah wrote in an email. Taylor's Dream Boundless Playground is Fort Wayne's newest playground, but also a very unique facility for children of all abilities. The Parks and Recreation Department is looking for a few good volunteers who would agree to visit the playground three times per month. July through September.
During this time, they will fill out a one-page survey created for this purpose. There is no interaction needed. Simply observation and counting the number of participants and parents using the site. Volunteers will receive a t-shirt from the Parks Department. Surveys and information to hand out to users if questioned about what they are doing will be made available and why they are doing the surveys. The data is being collected to measure the success of the playground. It is also to be used for future development. If you are interested in volunteering, please call Kathy Pargman. You can be reached at 427 6004. We real implore you to please volunteer. It's a really great cause. If the aspirations of one young girl can profoundly affect so many lives, can you imagine if we all lent a hand? To learn more about Fort Wayne's Boundless Playground and see photos, visit the Boundless Playground website.